Hi lovely people of the food tube. Let me show you how to make a perfect sausages and radicchio risotto. So simple, so good, so incredible delicious. Let's do it. First of all, olive oil, couple of spoons, one full tablespoon of onions. I already chopped. Sweat them a little bit. I'm making for about two people. Here, I got five sausages. I removed the skin. We'll have two of those to use them on top of the risotto later. Then grab the sausages, just break them inside. Can be any kind of sausages. Keep stirring it and try to break it now. When they start to change these lovely colors, it's ready, lovely. Get about one beautiful radicchio, sweet and sour, lovely, lovely flavor. Roughly chop that little bit of bitterness with the sweetness of the onions, combines them well together, beautiful. Get about two handful of rice. It's about 17 to 100 grams each of rice. And this particular rice I'm using is arborio rice. Keep stirring it and let it toast. Always use a wooden spoon. Don't use no metal spoons because you will break the rice. Then you need a very, 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 very good splash of wine. But half a glass, dry, sweet, doesn't matter. Oh my mind. So once all the alcohol is evaporated and the lovely flavor of the grapes is inside, you use it a very good chicken stock. Oh yes. I keep stirring it. As soon as you see that the stock evaporate, go back in again with some more stock. I keep stirring it. We'll take roughly 20 minutes on gentle flame of gas. In the meantime, those two sausages without skin. Parmesans, half a tablespoon, parsley. You give it a freshness. You mix it. When this one is done, put a bit of water on your hands and you roll it. You see, your hands is clean. Just have a little of olive oil. Let this get very hot. One by one, just put them inside. And now, those is ready. Look, they started to get lovely colors. So we put them on the side. And let's just concentrate on the risotto. Just a little bit more. I don't want it too running, but I don't want it too dry. Snob of a butter, keep stirring it. Get that creaming up, give it a lovely flavor. One and a half tablespoons of a Parmesan cheese. <gasps> oh my, my, look at this. Why I'm cooking so good? Why, why, why? How huh? can you tell it the risotto? It's ready. It's still al dente. It's still a little bit crunchy. So when you actually, you bite inside the risotto, it's soft. The last fractions, it just crack. So you will chew it longer and then you will taste it better and you will digest it better. But then, how do that? When actually you're done with the risotto, you cover and you leave it for about three minutes. Oh yes. Little grated over parmesan, sausage, and little drizzle of balsamic vinegar. Little touch of radicchio. And this is the perfect Sausage e radicchio risotto. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to cry. This is a proper, proper comfort food. So don't forget to subscribe to FoodTube channel and don't forget click on the side to make many, many, many different risotto different four different way and also don't forget to watch Gennaro Contal the YouTube channel to many other incredible dish love you all arrivederci ciao ciao